So, big jam <laughs> having the hottest artist out the city. Like, me, can't find, like, bring it back. Hottest. Bitches out the city, don't do that. On GMTV. TV. Shout out GMTV. Y'all know. Come on, man. GMTV dropping the hottest gym with the motherfuckers. Shout out to GMTV. They're my people. We started this shit together. The boy took that shit a long way. What? Gym TV, getting y'all the hottest gyms out of the city. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. I need to do that video. <laughs> Gym TV, getting y'all the hottest gyms out of the city. Go ahead and let them know what gym we finna drop. It's your boy, Jordan the Fowler, a.k.a. Nudie, baby. Y'all already know what's here. Gyms TV, man. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we finally got Nudie up in here, man. What you do? The, the, the two-time NCAA, you know what I'm saying? You, you got the, 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 the ring for that, huh? Two-time? Yeah, man, two-time. I started bringing them up. I was like, nah, I ain't going to do yeah, it. I, I started to, man. I started to. <laughs> I ain't going to lie to you. I started to bring them up. I'm looking for it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Nah, I ain't know. We better start from the beginning, you know what I'm saying? Where you grew up at? I grew up in Owen Grove Projects, man. It's a fun time, man. Hey. Love the project, man. We always had something to do. He, 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 one, one of the dull moments out there, man. We just balling, having fun, man. Kids doing things that kids do, man. All right. So you said you from Orange Grove, you know what I'm saying? You grew up with, with Trent, Ron, OMB Peas. Yeah, you know, man, on BPs and Uncle on um, Tim, we used to get in a lot of fights when we were little, man. <laughs> yeah, I used to kind of like a little bully in the, in the project. Me and my cousin Woody, he was the littlest thing in the project, fight everybody, man, you know. And, you know, me and him used to ride around on big wheel bullying everybody, you know. <laughs> but we had people behind us, though. How you managed to make it out of the project? Orgro was a real project coming up back in our time. Man, I just had good people behind me. Uh, I had my mama, I had my uncles, my brothers. Hey, you, you, it's good to get scared straight early, man. Yeah. <laughs> For real. My uncles told me if they ever catch me, you know what I'm saying, selling weed or anything, they were going to beat me up. So, I seen both of them fight. And I was like, man, I ain't finna go through all that with these, man. So, I, I ain't finna push the issue. My brother and them told me the same thing. My oldest brother, anyway, the boy Fowler. Everybody know him as Dre. He told me the same thing, don't touch nothing. You touch I'm 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 gonna put my hand on you, so I went a different route. Stuck to the football. Stuck to the football, man. How many um siblings you had? I got three brothers and one sister, but one of my brothers passed away um at that well, when I was seventeen. When you were seventeen. That was two thousand seven, one. Yep. Yeah. They said they accidentally shoot him or something like that. Yep, yep, yep. Right. Uh, you, you grew up in a single-parent household or a two-parent household? I had my mom. My mom was always there. I mean, she took care of us. It was four of us, man, you know. But we always had our grandma. We had our uncles. And our uncle just, he just made us a monster. My uncle Damien, everybody know him as Lump. He made us a monster, man. Man, used to terrorize us, put us in the deep freezer, sit on top of us, you feel me? <laughs> Make us drink hot sauce, couldn't get no water. But it, it made us tough, you feel me? So, like I said, <laughs> while we getting bullied in the house, we bullying people outside. <laughs> <laughs> All right, what, what high school you went to? I went to Vigo High School. Why? How you getting up at Vigo? Why? Man, it crazy, man. Uh, so you know, we was up, we just hooping. By the time this, by the time all the projects get ready to close down, and Big Daddy from Happy Hill, everybody call him Big Daddy, Mark Frazier. Yeah. So I'm just hooping, I'm just out that thing, just just slamming on everybody. So he like, man, we gotta get bread. Why? He was like, hey, what's your number? I'ma get the coach to call you tomorrow. So got the dog on. I just hear him on the phone, coach, I got you, man. He out here going crazy, dugging on everybody. <coughs> Like, man, uh, I'm just, he just don't know. I'm 
I'm finna buck and go to Murphy, you feel yeah, me? Yeah, yeah. So got dog on the next day Steve's a pull up on me. Woo, that's a big freedom, uh uh. No man. <laughs> <laughs> he a big freedom. I wonder he can play in the football though. So got dog on. He take me he take me on the uh Viagra. No lie. My cousin swole swole my cousin. Martin. Yeah, Martin <laughs> Pay, he my cousin, you feel me? He like, I got one for you. He was like, so was like, oh, we gonna get him. We gonna get him readjusted to it. I was just like, all right. I ain't say nothing. I just kept walking. Because he was just showing me off or whatever. So I'm like, all right, that's cool. <laughs> I right, see y'all on the football field. So that's how I ended up at Vibe. Uh, all right. When, when you went to Vibe, you know what I'm saying? What, what little league you played for? I played for one, bro, bro. We oh, we would try. <laughs> we, every year we won one game. <laughs> one game. When, when, when you became a dog then? I've always been a dog, but I just played for the wrong team. I, like every year, no lie, went to Peter Park, in the backfield, started. Man, I'm like, man, I can't pay for, you know, back then you had to pay for your stuff to go like play for Peter Park. Yeah. I'm like, I can't pay for this. Like who gonna pay for it? My mom ain't finna come out of pocket for it. Yeah. My granddad ain't gonna pay for it. So I'm just gonna go away it free. <laughs> so it ain't no going on, bro. Yeah. I always been a dog. Like I said, I was in the backfield every year. Just quit and go to on, bro. Where it free at? I couldn't pay for the stuff. Yeah. You played what you played you started off playing football back? Man, my first yeah. my first job about six years old. No, like they had me at center. I was hurt. <laughs> but we ain't have we ain't have a team that year because the coach left and went to Peter Park. Yeah. So I remember being about eight years old, and somebody told me that the coaches were looking for me at Little Lebub, which is the the boys and girl club in Orange Grove. Man, no lie, I took off from home, ran all the way from home to the to the boys and girl club, and they was like, "Yeah, it's time to play some football." So. After that, that when I started playing fullback, that's all started. At. Yeah. All right. You said somebody be playing, you know, what I'm saying football for for different um team. Like it was somebody that was a dog that you looked up to. That was in the hood. Man, it was so many people in the hood. Man, you had I had a guy named Che. They called him Che McQuay Small. Had him. We had Mark Mark Dale. Uh, Mark Wheat. Mr. Shake and Bake himself, at dog on uh, Nate Poe, Demo, my brother, man. Yeah. We had Tony Ward, man. We had Mandrell, Mandrell Austin. I looked up to all them boys, because they were real ballers. Yeah. And I wanted to be just like them. Like, they were real dogs. All right, when you, when you got the Ryder, though, you know what I'm saying? What they, they got that legendary team, what that was in the 90s. What, what you got to work to work my neck trying and all yeah. that. Man, you know, I ain't know nothing about them. You ain't know nothing about them. Yeah. Everybody just used to talk about foggy history. I knew nothing about it. I ain't, <laughs> I ain't, I ain't, I ain't gonna lie, I ain't know nothing about it, but you know, you start hearing about it, you like, man, I wanna be like them. You feel me? <laughs> <laughs> Did you watch uh, Ellis Lamb play? Yeah, right. I ain't even watch Ellis. Right. I just heard that uh, he was a dog. He, he was cold. That's what they were saying. No, I ain't never watched them. I wasn't really into like high school football and all that like that. I, yeah, you know, I heard bro. I heard about Ken, Ken Hughes, and I heard about BJ. I'm like, man, I don't know these folks. Yeah, <laughs> but I hear about them. Like, um, one more boy out of here there. He was wrong. Uh, Dib. Yeah. I heard about him. Y'all, I had threats coming from him. We were going to play him. Oh, Dib going to hurt you. Dang, I don't even know this. So they, they ain't no new. No, nobody. They knew me, but they but ain't know me. They ain't know I'm from the football. Right. Yeah, you they ain't know. Them, you made them know who you were. Oh, yeah. they. <laughs> out of one play, out of on-goal team, everybody remember new. <laughs> <laughs> I remember uh, playing against Fire on um, Spencer. Them my boys in my right hand. Dragging their whole football team. Happy whole football team. They still remember to this day. He always talking about he knocked me in the ant bed. Spence. <laughs> Man, he couldn't play a lick of football. Spence. <laughs> 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 All right. Well, at this time, you had to sit at like a C&C, you know what I'm saying? For like, Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Tell people like how they came back. Oh, man. Oh. Uh, like I was just telling y'all, man, it's crazy, man, you know, think you got real friends, but 
they 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 might be your friend, they might love you, but it ain't nobody, you know what I'm saying, <laughs> stupid enough to do what I did though. But um I was in the sixth grade, so I pass I'm making good grades A's and B. I pass. All of them get love behind. So <laughs> I get to the seventh grade, I decide I'm gonna wait on them. <laughs> so, you know, <laughs> I get kicked out of class every day. Just, you know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm a flunk on purpose so I'm a boy I can catch up with me. Boom, they catch up with me. Man, they doing all the stuff right. I'm still doing all everything wrong. <laughs> you feel me? Trying to fit in. Boom, teaching. I, I just need like, I think I had like a 58. She ain't give me two points. I need like four points in English. <laughs> man, I flunked sound great. <laughs> I'm in that thing like, man, what? Y'all boys ain't going to stick with me. Them boys got <laughs> hit the eighth grade and they were gone. Them boys ain't going back. <laughs> so, you know, by that time, I'm thinking, well, they doing a the little skip up thing. Maybe I get a chance, they'll skip me up. Man, that lady let me sit down. I'm like, man, that that was a hurt feeling, though. Cause I just knew I was going to get skipped up. It ain't happen like that. But that lady changed my life, though. Mm -hmm. That one of the meanest. Like one of the meanest <laughs> principal I ever met though. Like real talk. Like she she was one of them principal like you smack your lip, you suspend. You smack your lip, you go into detention. And I was like, man, I'm already behind. So it's like you keep keep getting suspended, it's old with. I ain't gonna never make it out of high school. I was like, man, I gotta get right, man. So uh me, my um uh, boy E Rock, Billy, all of us in the same class. So I booked him. Tell the own principal, look, I want to be in the class with all the pretty girls, you feel me? Yeah. So that was my throw off. I, I wanted to get out of the class, but I wanted to get out of the class for a girl, you feel me? So I ended up getting out of the class and boom, I ended up making the high school. I was like, finally. You ain't play no ball in middle school. I couldn't because yeah, I, I failed too much. Yeah. Like, it wasn't nothing I could do. So what you were doing in the middle school then? Man, I was just, I was, I was playing for boys here at club oh, yeah, on, bro. So, so, I just played for them. I wanted to play for the school. Couldn't do it, though. And you were playing running back then, huh? Yeah, I was playing running back and fullback. I played running back and fullback all my life. All right, all right. So, so when, when you got the, when you got the vibe, you know what I'm saying, before you said that, that, that first, that, your, your senior year, how many rest of y'all you had? <laughs> I can't even remember. I remember one game, my first year, we playing UMS. I'm, I break by the score to it down. Um, one of the guys from UMS grabbed my ankle. <laughs> and I was out for like three, four weeks. Coach Steve's and hot. But like, I got this big joker and he ain't, he ain't worth nothing. So I, I, pretty, I had a pretty solid friend of year. Then that when they brought Ken in, I was like, oh, Lord. I already know what side I'm going on. So they end up put me at defense and end my sophomore year. They had a good had a good start to the season. But it just didn't end like we wanted to end. <coughs> so my junior year, Coach Steve, I started off playing defense. And Coach Steve was just like, man, look, we just going to put you on offense. We just going to outscore everybody. Yeah. And when we need you on defense, we're going to put you in at defense end. Because nobody really could stop me at end my junior year. <laughs> so, it just took off from there. Football just, oh, Nudie. After that, KJ Wilson, oh, Nudie. Boy, y'all see what Nudie did all over TV. And from there, it just got right. All right, then, in your head, when you just found out that shit, that I'm just hard at this, you know what I'm saying? I'm, the, I'm better than everybody. And the city of uh, you know what I'm saying? The crazy thing, yeah, man. I always knew I was good, but I ain't think I was that good. Cause one day we was just at practice, and I know how defense hard. You know, we got Bud, we got Tremini, we got Big Five over there. So I tell him, look, man. I tell Coach D, I said, man, I'm finna score every play, every time I touch. Man, I don't, no bull jump. Every play I touch, I score. <laughs> like that's why I knew, really knew, like, oh yeah, you for real. Dude, you can really go somewhere with it, you know, if you really want to push yourself. Because, like I said, I've always been good, but I just played for the wrong team. They ain't mm -hmm. never get out there. All right. So, so you end up getting off from everybody. Tell everybody where you got off from. I got off from South Carolina, Florida State, uh, Alabama, Tennessee, um, 
couple small schools, South Alabama, Arkansas State, uh, I think Louisiana, Monroe, or somebody like that. They were trying to get everybody. Like, mm -hmm. you, you just, they just wanted me. But they were like, man, if you want us to get everybody out for you to come to our school, <laughs> we'll give it to them. And I started to take that, but no, Alabama ain't really come in until I'm, I'm blowed at this point. I, will, I go to practice at the All Star game, just watching it, and Coach Stevens on the phone with um, Coach Save. I just hear him talk to him. He was like, "Well, I got my guy right here. Um, if you give him a scholarship, he ain't gonna talk to nobody else." And I ain't no talking to Coach Save myself. He was like, "Well, I'm gonna give you a scholarship, but you can't talk to anybody else." I'm like, "All right." <laughs> and I think LSU wanted to give me a scholarship, so. Yeah, man, it was a couple couple of schools, man. I almost end up going to Florida State where everybody don't know. Yeah. Like, uh, Jimbo called me. He was just like, man, look, you want to sit on the bench or you want to come here and be a starter? <laughs> so I'm like, man, I could be a starter at Florida State. Hey, Alabama already got Trent. They got Mark. got Eddie. I'm like, man, that's a good deal. So I sit down and talk with my mom, and she was like, man, I don't I just want you to go to Alabama. Yeah. I'm like, well, I'll do it for you, you know, because you the one taking care of me. You the one that putting, like, just looking out for me. So, that's how I ended up at Bama. Uh, you just said something about that All-Star <laughs> game, you know what I'm saying? Like, when, when you went to play in the All-Star game, you know what I'm saying, you, you did pretty good in the, cause I don't remember. I mean, yeah. so I, ain't, I ain't even get to play in the All-Star game that year because it was, it was only for seniors and I was a junior. Yeah, and I was just watching Ken and them practice and stuff like that, so I ain't get to play, but I wanted to play. So you got the offer at your junior year? I got all them offers in, in my junior year. And, and save a lot to then say you can't talk to nobody. Right, that's, he locked it in. And I was going to say, I ain't even have a senior, I ain't even play my senior year. That's what I'm saying, he ain't play, that's what I was saying, it was kind of <laughs> weird because you didn't play your senior year because you're too old or how, how that I work? was too old by a week. Yeah. So I couldn't play. We were going to try to fight it, but I was even thinking about going to like a uh, military school to play. Yeah. But we just said we just going to sit out. And <clears throat> that's where um, Houston Langham, everybody know him as Coop. Uh -huh. He introduced me to um, Vince McConnell, um, and I was working out with Vince, me and Jamal Woodyard. Um, man, we were working hard, man. And Jamal was balling. Jamal Woodyard, he was balling that year. The year I didn't play, he was. Like cutting up, acting huh. food, play for foul. How long? Oh, what he went over one hour? He went to um, Southern Miss. Oh, Southern Miss. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Well, you got an offer to Alabama with only playing really one year. Okay. Yeah. Fullback. Right, fullback and running back. Well, I pretty much did everything for volume. Uh -huh. Play receiver, playing, running back, fullback. <clears throat> but that one year, you was playing defense at first, right? Yeah. And that one year you went on offense when he said, yeah. We gonna outscore everybody. Yeah. Got that off. one year got you in the belt. Right. You was a dog. 